Christmas Eve, it's well past Christmas and Boxing Day. It is literally the 2nd of January and I haven't even unboxed Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It's still in here. I just, I don't know how to explain myself. I got really busy on Christmas Eve because obviously we did Sam's birthday with the intention to come up Christmas Eve night and unbox for everybody. That didn't happen. Christmas day, I was up at five in the morning doing Christmas presents, getting ready for work. So that was that, a work boxing day. And it has just been mental between work and home ever since. And then I was sitting here last night thinking, what did I get in my advent calendar? And then of course I didn't get anything in my advent calendar because I didn't even open it. So today is the double whammy, the 24th and 25th of December. I was so slightly late. I haven't even looked in it as well, that's how busy I've been. Because I don't know how excited I am about it as well. So, the 24th was there. Was there, is there. Oh, yay. So this is, I have this product. I'm actually currently using it. It is in my lip bag. I have a lipstick bag um, in my um, handbag. So this product is by Terry and it is their um, mini to go, I can't even say it, um, it's their rose lip care, I can't say it, I'm not pronouncing it, I can't get in. Now, I believe this is about £14 because I've had a look to try and see about getting like when mine runs out, because I really enjoy it, when mine runs out, it's getting a new one. Um, I really, really like this. It's like a very kind of like, it's like a lip balm, but it's got quite a nice sheen to it. So it's, it's not tacky either. So it's not like a really sticky lip gloss. It's really, really nice. And it's got a really nice rose scent to it. Um, it doesn't, it's not like, it doesn't taste like rose, but it's got like a really rose florally kind of scent to it. I really like this and I must admit I've got this this year in something, I can't remember what, but I've been using it ever since, it's really really nice for winter, so I'm not mad that I've uh, repeated this and if you haven't tried it, um, it's really nice if you've got it in your advent calendar. So that was day number 24, let's have a look at day number 25, a week late. And I was so excited to open it. I can't believe that I've forgotten to open it. So it's this one here. Woo! I can't believe I'm not opened this before after seeing what's in there. It's a double whammy. There's a Huda Beauty palette and Wist, Wishful, which is Huda Beauty as well. So I think this is the second double, oops, the second double door we've had. So um, Huda Beauty, went into, have branched out into like skincare. I've tried an exfoliant. This looks like it's some form of sheet mask. It's a chin lift. So um, gentle, simple, effective, lifting, enhancing jawline, sculpted appearance and hydration. Start with a clean, dry face, remove from the plastic film from the mask. To avoid discomfort during use, pre-stretch the mask lengthways. Starting at the chin, pull upwards and put around your ears. So it's a bit like a, oh, what's wrong with me today? It'll be like this. Now I haven't used, um, I haven't used anything like this. And <clears throat> from the skincare range, I've used like um, a peel and it was really, really good really good so i was quite impressed so far with the peel so it'll be interesting to see what they branched out in <coughs> as you can see i'm still spot <coughs> i'm still sporting this cold i've not managed to shift right the second item is an eyeshadow palette now it had to be in here an eyeshadow palette because we haven't had anything 
eyeshadow related and then I've been really disappointed if there wasn't a palette of some sort. I do love a palette. And I think every advent calendar should have one. Now, I don't know which one this is. This is the nude or the rich nude, whichever. It's very, very pretty. Uh, the rich nude obsessions. Now, I like the Huda palettes, the little nine ones. They're really, really um, handy to take away. They always have a mirror on it as well. And this is a really nice nine. Um, it just sort of my colours. So there's five mattes and four shimmers. So these are your matte ones. Um, it's like a really nice kind of transition -y shades. I really like these. This is more sort of browns and you've got your ready tones. It's a nice dark one there. And sometimes a really nice sort of deep chocolatey sort of brown is better than blacks for me. And then these are the shimmers. This red, I think, is everything in this palette for me. This one's nice as well. It's kind of a ready. It's not picking it up very well. That's more of a, like a coppery kind of bronze. And this is more like a deep sort of chocolatey brown. Really, really nice. And I've not got this palette. I really like it. I do, um, I like the packaging on the front as well, it's all textured. And Huda uh, make really, really, for me, they make really good eyeshadow palettes, really good lipsticks and lip liners, and they just, I'm in love with them. So, <coughs> price-wise, I'm not really sure how much this one is. This one's about 14 pounds. And the overall calendar itself, um, I've been really, really pleased with this. This is the first Feel Unique calendar I've had. I've had two years of Look Fantastic with a year of Glossy Box, which um, is the same company, the Look Fantastic and the Glossy Box. And I was just getting a bit mm, with them. The Look Fantastic's great uh, for sort of skincare. Glossy Box was tailored to more kind of makeup. This is a bit more... For me, the Feel Unique one, it's just kind of a bit of both. I really, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. I've definitely had some brands in there that I haven't had before, which is why I like the advent calendars. Um, there's always some good kind of staples and good favourites in there, but there's always um, brands that I've just not had access to or um, never even thought to try, which is <coughs> why I like getting the advent calendars. So... I hope you've enjoyed my advent calendar unboxing. If you have, then um, leave comments. I do apologise that I was kind of like a week late with like the best days. Just, it was crazy this, um, this Christmas. So it just kind of slipped my mind, which is just bad, bad planning. Um, and if you haven't yet checked them out, then go and have a little look in the... Um, in the folder because there'll be an advent calendar unboxing for 2021 and i'll see you next year for another advent calendar because i do get loads of joy out of doing it and i'll be better prepared next year in theory and stick around for what's to come and take care thank you very much and like comment and subscribe bye